Hey what's going on welcome back to Daz Reacts and today I have a Joe Coy reaction video for you and in this one he talks about how his mum makes him cry and it's my last video of the day so I thought I'm going to end with a Joe Coy video because I, I just think he's hilarious basically he, he is such a funny comedian and he's one of the new comedians that I found through this channel obviously he's been doing this for quite some years but he, he's new to me through this channel and I'm so glad that I've done this channel and I'm so glad that I found him for it because He's not done a show yet that has not had me laughing out loud. Everything that I've seen this man do has had me in stitches. From the very first one I've done of his with Asian accents, ever since then, they've just been brilliant. And even the ones that I've seen of him where he had hair, <laughs> they've all been good. And I, I am looking forward to, to watching more and more and more Joe Coy stuff. And including this one, he's so funny when he talks about his mum. So... I am looking forward to this one as well. So we're just going to get straight into this. Sorry if you heard the beep, then that was from my phone disconnecting. But let's get straight into this. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other Joe Coys that you want me to react to, and I will get around to doing it. But until then, let's get into this. You're scared to go home because your mom yelled at That's all my mom did was yell at me. That was the only language my mom spoke was yell. Huh? What? Say it again. Say it again. Say it. What did you say, Joseph? What did you say? Turn around. Turn around, Joseph. <laughs> That's the only language my mom taught. Yell. Huh? When? When did you do it? Where? Where did you go? Huh? What? Did you lose your lunchbox? I remember when I lost my lunchbox one time. Holy shit. That's how my mom disciplined through the, she never like physically touched she, she she verbally attacked you that's when she went after you she break you down in words <laughs> interrogation two and a half hours of yelling <laughs> what where where's your lunchbox joseph where did you put it i, I don't know <laughs> what do you mean you don't know where where did you go <laughs> you go from house to school school to house where the fuck did you look at <laughs> <laughs> What, you just take your lunchbox, put it anywhere? Oh, I don't know where. I don't know where anything is. I don't know where. Where's your lunchbox, Joseph? Where? Where did you put it? I don't, I don't know. Then she'll just repeat what I said in a stupid voice. <laughs> <laughs> I do that with my daughter now. <laughs> oh. My, do my daughter does this thing that, like, she she's a daddy's girl, like, completely, until the point where I tell her off, and then all of a sudden, like, she don't want to know, and it's all about mummy. But, like, any time, like, during the day, like, if she wants a mum, she'd be like, mum or mummy. But if I tell her off, and then, then she goes, like, mama, and it's like, she turns into a little Spanish girl, like, mama, 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 <laughs> seriously. And then that's when I mock her, I mock what she does, I'll go behind her, go, mama, mama, <laughs> she hates it. How do you not know, Joseph? How? I don't know, Mom. What do you want me to say? Tell me where it is. <laughs> Two hours of that. Where? <laughs> huh? <laughs> she wants me. She wants me to have snot coming out of my mouth and then breathe it in at the same time. That's when she's happy. That's when my mom knows she got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she walks up to me. Okay, 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 breathe, 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 Joseph, breathe. <laughs> breathe, my God. <laughs> breathe, my God, Joseph, breathe, breathe. breathe. <laughs> it's just a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> then she's got to embarrass me. Then she's got to put my lunch in a Tupperware container. That's how she embarrasses me. She always says, I'm going to put your lunch in a Tupperware container. And then I cry more. Why? I don't want to go to school. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to go to school with my lunch in one of your Tupperwares. Because <laughs> that shit's embarrassing. If I send my son to school with a Tupperware container, he goes to school with a clear bowl, and it's got a blue lid, and it says Tupperware on the lid. My son would be proud to go to school with that shit. My mom's Tupperware? 
usually an empty Cool Whip container. <laughs> <laughs> Country croc. One time she put it in an empty Neapolitan ice cream container. <laughs> Had the red handle. She put my homework and my lunch. It looked like a fucking briefcase. Like, what the? <laughs> That's the sort of thing my dad would do. My dad keeps everything. That, like, you buy him like a tin of chocolates, guaranteed you go in his ass, like, you've got a tin of roses and it, it's full of screws it's full of nails and it's just full of bits and bobs of like things that he's accumulated over the years he's, he's a proper holder anyway and yeah tuple <laughs> he done this thing i don't know if you've seen it but you can actually buy it for like your worktops you can buy like the stick on worktops so like when your worktops are getting old and jagged you're going to wilkinson and you can buy it. it's like a roll of wallpaper but it sticks onto the top of your worktop and it comes out and looking new or whatever and he done that and it looked really nice in his kitchen and it was <laughs> it was only when i went around there one day and i realized what he'd done so you know obviously like when you're making a cup of tea and you finish the tea bags that like you, you you get the tea bag out the cup you walk to the bin you throw it in the bin yeah that was too much for him like taking them like eight or nine steps to the bin and back was too much <laughs> he used this 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 rat the um he used the paper the the worktop seal whatever the fuck it's called he used that to around a pot noodle pot <laughs> so, so you, you wouldn't see that it was a pot noodle pot and he used that and that was now his new pot so he could put his tea bags in there <laughs> and he's still got that he's had that for years and he's still got that to this day and he will not throw it away to him that's his that's the best invention that he's, he's ever put my lunch in a cool whip container that shit is so embarrassing and then she goes, grab a Sharpie so I can write your name on the lid. Like, <laughs> like someone else has a Cool Whip container lunchbox. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the only one with a Cool Whip container lunchbox. <laughs> You'd never know, Joseph. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking around the lunchroom looking for a place to sit. With my Cool Whip container lunchbox. <laughs> All the other kids are looking at me. Whoa. Your mom's gonna let you eat Cool Whip? <laughs> I don't know what's inside. <laughs> I'm sitting down at the lunch table with my Cool Whip container lunchbox. All these other kids are trading lunches in front of me, but no one wants to trade for the mystery bucket. <laughs> My mouth is watering because so I see all these delicious trades going down. I'll give you my turkey and cheddar cheese sandwich for that peanut butter and jelly. I'll give you my chocolate chip cookies for those Pringles. I'll give you my chocolate milk for that Gatorade. And I'm looking at all of them. Does anyone want Mungo? <laughs> 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 Mungo. Mungo. <laughs> no, Mungo, it's so good. Mungo. You get to keep the container. <laughs> Some kid was like, what the fuck is Mungo? <laughs> I had to explain it to him. It's these little round green beans and it sits on top of a bed of rice. And if you dig deep enough, you might find a shrimp or two. <laughs> <laughs> Some other kid was like, what the fuck is that bag of sauce next to it? Patisse. <laughs> Filipino fish sauce. <laughs> it really accents the flavor of the mungo. <laughs> Don't spill it on your shirt, you smell like pussy all day. <laughs> <laughs> see I, like, I do i like joe coy and that's the thing that ah uh, parents do all these things to embarrass you and i haven't got to that point with my daughter yet like it is the case that like for her the the, the worst thing like in the playground is that it's not the worst thing like it depends on the day that she, like the day and the mood that she's in but like most of the time before she goes into school i'll give her a kiss and a cuddle and then there's other days like it depends on what kid she's standing around she's like oh dad piss off go away leave me alone but yeah i mean for me like when i was a rep probably a little bit older than my daughter like the worst thing that my mum could do 
and I would never dream of doing it to my daughter, but my mum used to do it to me. Now, my I've, I've never really had long, long hair. That maybe like a little bit longer than what it is now, but nothing to the point where it's ever needed styling or anything like that. It's I've had I've had like Jim Carrey dumb and dumber look. So like my doing my hair when it was a bit longer was like a bit of water in the morning and just doing that, and that was always me doing my hair. So it was always completely flat. And then one day someone said to me like, why don't you just do that at the front? So it stick everything's like shiny flat there and it comes up a little bit there. So I tried that one and it went up a little bit at the front and then I was like just leave it. Forgot all about it. My mum not used to seeing me like that. She just thought my hair was sticking up. So like, I was in primary school at the time, probably like year five, maybe year six. Walking up to the school, she's like, "What's wrong with your hair?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, this woman did not just spit on her hand and then rub it all in my hair." <laughs> and like, it's not even done away from other kids. Like, you're walking towards the school with other kids, and other parents are looking at her and thinking. That's not a bad idea. I could do that. They're getting new ideas. And like all the other kids are just looking at me and going, that's nasty. Like, oh, yeah. So that's that, that, that the embarrassing things my mum used to do to me. But yeah, we've we've always lived on on, on, on a like a, a wealth line where we get free school meals. So never had to worry about pack, like packed lunch and things like that. But yeah, I really do enjoy Joe Coy. I really do. He always makes me laugh. He never ever fails to make me laugh. And I love the stories he, he talks about, like with him and his mum and like his his family. That they are brilliant. And you can expect to see a lot more Joe Coy on the channel. And that's where you come in. If you have any other suggestions, then please do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll get round to doing more of him. But until then, guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I do upload daily. Until then, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. See you in the next one.